get salted in the end, Peter? Yes, sir. When I've got my main extension lead, come back and they fix the original problem. So as well as the fire station open day, there's also the Broadwater Carnival. People setting up over there. Broadwater Green, which usually is green, has gotten the beige colour. But I'm probably not going to get much of a chance to get over there because the main thrust of my being here is going to be operating GB2 WFB. So that is mainly what will appear in this video. I've never seen the ground this colour. So this is the Worthing and District Amateur Radio Club gazebo. Behind it is the training tower and the fire brigade have very kindly tied off the top of our antenna It looks like a Carolina Wyndham but I wasn't here last night when it was put up so there's the top of the tower there's the centre part of the antenna and there's a conveniently located tree over here and I would imagine that one of our members fired a catapult up there, that's what he normally does but I just can't get over the colour of the grass we've had three plus weeks without rain at all I've been coming here pretty much every year since I got licensed in 2009 and I have never seen the grass this colour three plus weeks without rain and it's a bit overcast this morning which is nice because it's not too hot yet but the weather forecast is threatening some localised and torrential thunderstorms and downpours and I really hope that doesn't happen because last year just after one o'clock unfortunately we had a very torrential shower and it only lasted about 15 or so minutes but it put all the crowds to flight to the extent that the organisers closed the event an hour early at 3pm and what made it even more of a pity was that up until that point it had been I think the best attended Worthing Fire Station open day that I had ever witnessed Well we've got 10 minutes to opening and already it's turned into a bit of a saga First of all, there was problems last night putting the aerial up. First shot, it went up over there for it come down. It's magic. Correct. Right. Then there's a little bit of a delay while we get that end done. Then eventually we're ready to put the antenna up, didn't we? Yeah. So hauls that end up, don't we? Goes to haul that one up. And that side is a little bit stuck in that lumpy bit that's coming out oh, here. Christ. You suffer right. from scout surprise. So then, we give us a tug, don't we? And it... One of the bloody knots come undone, didn't it? The scout's <laughs> knot and all came yeah, undone. Yeah, yeah, I know. So yeah. then it start again, job, innit? Yeah. And do you think it would go back where it went? No. <laughs> Seven <laughs> attempts. Yeah. And then there were problems with the guy ropes, which we've now repaired kind of makes you wonder what's wrong with people doesn't it so we've got a rope that's been cut there yeah it's been cut into pieces there so you can't put it back together again and it's been cut in pieces there so you can't put it back together again and I mean the tent looks okay but oh no our earth looks okay but this one here somebody's got in here overnight and deliberately cut them haven't they must have done what is the matter with people? And last but not least, it looked like we might not be going to have any mains electricity. So we couldn't latch that and on the face of it, 
the problem wasn't that there was a problem with the, the breaker or the sockets, it was that the 13 amp fuse had gone in the plug. You come up to exactly that. Steaming eight minutes level Well it's about half past one and things are going quite well so far down here at Worthing Fire Station. We did get on the air at 10 o'clock despite all the problems I thought we were going to have with uh, getting the antenna up in the tree last night and then with the power problems which we solved by replacing the fuse in the main plug so we thought the problem was the socket board or the um, RCD miniature circuit breaker rather and it wasn't that on the face of it and then uh, we also had a problem with the tent guy ropes being cut but despite all of that it has come good we went on the air at 10 o'clock local time and Inter-G has come good we've worked stations as close as Dorset and Wiltshire so there has been some Inter-G which I'm very pleased about so so far so good deep and rapid QSB with some signals but unfortunately not with all of them And in fact it's got so warm we've taken off the uh, the back of the tent. So your boys can't stand the heat. So we are well I was I was um flagging in the heat a little bit. So we are here just to the west of Brighton and we've had contacts into EI F O N Belgium We've had one into the Netherlands I think, we've had one in Germany with what sounded like an Australian guy, so over his expat. Um, I think that's pretty much it so far but we've had a lot of contacts within England and some of them very close. I mean this Swindon is there and we're only down here so very short distance for 40 metres. Well that's alright, we finished three minutes early and most of the contacts were on 40 metres but uh, we had a little bit of a run on 17 metres at the end from uh, from then onwards so there was QSB and there was fading but all in all we got some Inter-G didn't we so it wasn't a bad day oh, I'm happy with that so we've now lowered our dipole or our antenna down I should say and I've been describing this as a Carolina Wyndham there's actually a W2AU dipole with a 4 to 1 barrel in the middle. Holding up. Me 
moving very slowly, isn't it? Yeah, what, what is that? <laughs> 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 